I'm Bill Saunders. My name is M.S. Ashush. My name is uh, Bob Pride. My name is Jane Kadams. So what I like about Ollie, even when I'm not teaching, you know, because a lot of times I'm not teaching, is the same things I like about teaching. That somebody is up there and I'm learning something in a new field. I think there are some teachers that I thought, Elke Jan Harms, I think is her last name, but she's, uh, at the time she was a graduate student at Fletcher. And she, to me, was a fantastic teacher. And I took almost every class she, <laughs> she gave. I'm taking a course in, uh, I'm taking a bunch of courses from Dania, who is at the Metropolitan Museum in New York. She teaches about medieval art. So right now I'm taking a course on the Booker Calls. I just like her. I never did really anything at art with art in college. I know nothing about medieval art. So to me, this is a perfect thing of, I don't have to take a, a, a test and remember that this painting was done in 975. Um, and it's kind of useless. I don't need to know anything about my medieval art, but it, the, the information is interesting and having traveled in places in Europe and stuff. Oh, so that's what I'm seeing when I walk into this place. I'd say my favorite experience at Bali was when I was at the semi-annual, or, or I guess it's a every 18 month conference they have. It was out in Colorado Springs and uh, talking to people from different Bali's and there was a, a woman who was also involved with curriculum. And it turned out when I got to talk with her that she actually was a classmate of mine from Winchester High School, and I hadn't seen her in probably 35 or 40 years. Uh, so that was kind of uh, interesting that we're, you know, still still learning after being in high school, and now it's 60 years since we graduated. And the the other thing I really do enjoy is the people in the classes and in the, the clubs. You know, you might not think that going to executive board meetings is that much fun, but actually you're talking to other people that are very much engaged uh, in, in making the program as good as it can be. It's always fun to be talking to uh, to those people as well. My favorite part is, is the teaching. Um, is, is, you know, um, being able to discuss with people things that I find worth discussing. My experience with Ali has been great. <laughs> what can I say? I mean, uh, our discussions are just wonderful. I also enjoy at least some of the people who are invited to, uh, to give a lecture. When Stacey Abrams gave a lecture on Zoom, it was very, very interesting. Anthony Fauci was also presented on Zoom. So I look for things like that. I think before COVID, I probably went to a couple of lectures. I, I don't remember exactly. I, I think there was one about voting and how districts were moved around so as to advantage either the Democrats or the Republicans. And so they went through the mathematics of how that would work uh, and how it could be gerrymandered. It was a fascinating session because it's something that we all think about, you know. There's that. And then <clears throat> some of the Friday Friday Lunch and Learn series have also been very good. I, I don't often do it because I get busy during the day and then I forget. But, but if there's a topic that um, I notice that I really, really, really want to hear, then of course I make myself a note. And I'm pretty close to going to some of the Friday sessions, which are in person and on Zoom, um, because it would be nice to nice to see people whom I know, share conversation, coffee or whatever. It's just the people. It's the personalities in the group. It's such a wide range. And when you start to get to know the people, you hear about their backgrounds and you realize how different they are from yours in some ways and how similar they are. And that everybody has had really big challenges in their lives and they've come to a place where they are still wanting to learn even in a later age. Since I'm getting on an age myself, I find that very exciting because there's always more to learn. And I get a feeling of that community. They are learners and learning keeps them sharp and alive and lively.